Number 17. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of salts in contact with a solution containing a common ion, and then show that it is not appropriate to neglect the changes in the initial concentrations of the common ions. Okay, and then we have calcium hydroxide, so CaOH2 solid. This is in an unbuffered solution that initially had a pH of 12.700. Okay, so we're talking about dissolution. We have a solid, so we need to find out what that KSP value is. So I went in the back of the textbook to find out that the KSP value, the solubility product, of calcium hydroxide is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 6. So KSPs are always for the solid guys. But if they give you a KSP, or we found the KSP, we have to write a balanced equation. So we're going to take this compound and dissolve it into its ions. So Ca, OH2, this is a solid, and this comes to equilibrium, double arrows, with the two ions. The break is between the calcium and the OH minus, right? So hydroxide never breaks up. So Ca plus OH. Now there's a couple of ways that you could figure out what the charges are in the upper right-hand corner, right? Calcium is in group two on the periodic table. So that means that calcium is always a plus two charge. And then uh, hydroxide being a polyatomic, hydroxide is always a negative one charge. Since they have charges, this is aqueous. So we have AQ, AQ. And now let's just make sure that it's balanced. There's two hydroxides, so I do have to put a two in front of the OH, but then it looks balanced to me, so I'm just gonna put it over here. Now, just use that formula to write the general KSP formula. So I wrote it down, down here. The KSP is equal to a concentration of just the products raised to their coefficients. No solids allowed, therefore the reactants don't get included. So in this case, it would be KSP equals the concentration of the calcium, Ca, um, plus 2, times the OH minus concentration. And since uh, the OH has a 2 in front of it, I do have to raise the hydroxide concentration to the second power. There was only one calcium, so we could raise that to the first, but that's the same thing. KSP is the 1.3 times 10 to the negative sixth, but I don't know what these concentrations are. So that's what I'm going to start labeling um, our variables. However, this is where you look and see if you had any other information. Now they did tell us that calcium hydroxide was in an unbuffered solution with the pH of 12.700. So I say to myself, okay, can I take this pH value and turn it into a initial calcium ion? Or can I take this pH and turn it into a hydroxide amount? Ah, this is the, this is the before chapter, right? The acid base chapter. I can always turn my pH into my hydroxide concentration by just hitting the middleman first, which is the pOH. And then from there, I could get my, oh boy, <laughs> what happened here? Ah, we'll just leave it like that then. Actually, I'll just move this over here. Beautiful. So I could first get my pOH, and then I could get my OH minus concentration. So let's just quickly do that. Remember that pH plus pOH equals 14. This is one of the equations that either you have to memorize or your teacher might give that to you, right? So 12.700 plus the pOH equals 14. We can just basically subtract on both sides. It's just a subtraction. This gets canceled, minus 12.700. So the pOH, I now have 14 minus 12.7, so 1.300. 0, 0. 
Now I'm going to use that pOH value to get an OH minus. Here's that formula for that one, right? It's the OH minus equals 10 to the negative pOH. So I'm just going to take that pOH value and plug it on into here, 10 to the negative 1.300. Okay, so let's see, 10 raised to the negative 1.3, and I get, and this should technically be inside, there we go. So I get 5.0119, yep, times 10 to the negative second. So let's just pull this on back a little bit, 10 to the negative second, and that is molarity. And they said that it, this was all happening initially, so this concentration is the initial OH minus concentration. And anytime that you have an initial concentration, you have to do an ice table. So let's, let's do that. So let's ice it out. There we go. I'm going to just put ICE. Remember, solids not included, so I'm just going to basically get rid of this whole section here. Initial hydroxide concentration was the 5.0119 times 10 to the negative 12th. Didn't start off with any calcium, so zero. Now, Change in concentration, you could only go up from zero, so this would be plus x. Keep in mind that there is only one of them, so this would be plus 1x. And then the same thing here, plus x, but there's two of them, so this would be two times as much, so plus 2x. Combine your initials and your changes, zero plus x is just x, and then this would be 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second plus 2x. Okay, these are now your concentrations that are going to be plugged in into our KSP. So the calcium would just be X, and the hydroxide is the 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second plus 2X. So pause the video because I'm just going to get rid of all of this initial work to get that OH minus concentration because... We need more space, so bye-bye. Okay, so now let's do the assumptions, right? If we leave this addition, this plus 2x, from our initial to our final, um, that means that we're probably going to have to do some really hard math, right? And we try to avoid that at all costs. So what we assume is we say, okay, this KSP value is a little small, so maybe the change from the initial concentration to the final is not so much that I'm going to actually change this number. And at equilibrium, our equilibrium value would probably be very close to this. So I can kind of get rid of this plus 2x. Let's just solve for x um, to just see if we can do that. So it would be set up like this. 1.3 times 10 to the negative 6 equals x times the 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second and that is squared. Now, since they're already setting us up to say that it's not appropriate, I'm just going to quickly solve for x here. I'm going to skip a couple of steps, but take your time. I'll be here. <laughs> and just solve for x. So first we'll square that number and then we'll divide, right? So 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second squared. Okay. And then 1.3 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by... That number, and I'm not rounding. Um, so we get roughly 5.175, we'll say, times 10 to the negative fourth. Okie dokie. And I'm just checking my math just to make sure I didn't make any errors, but we look good. So now what we do is we do something called the 5% rule. What we're going to do is we're going to take the amount that we have and divide it by the initial concentration, 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second, 
and times it by 100. If this value is 5% or less, we assumed correctly by getting rid of the plus 2x, and the x value that we found out stands. 5.175 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second times 100. Oh, that's good for us. It, it checks out. I just want to do this math one more time. 5.175 times 10 to the negative fourth uh, divided by 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second times by 100. Would you look at that? I mean, it does pass the 5% rule. This is uh, basically 1%. I got 1.03% which is way less than 5%. So we actually assumed correctly. I don't know why this is now in the, you know, not appropriate, but this did happen in, I think, the last question as well. So maybe the numberings kind of slipped up here. But as far as the 5%, I mean, it, it fits the 5% rule. Now, I, now I'm thinking to myself, maybe I didn't, you know, maybe I didn't do a calculation correctly. So I'm just going to take it from here that... Let's see, I'm just going to do this quickly again, just to make sure. 10 raised to, yep, I still got the same number. And 5.0119. Uh-huh. Yeah. It would be that plus 2x. We squared that number. 10 cents to the negative second, squared. 1.3 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by that number. Yeah, I got the same thing. Times 100. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. So our x value that we got is our molarity. So what we're going to do is now we just go back to our two ions and just calculate those concentrations at equilibrium. So Ca, 2 plus... That was just the x value. So that's beautiful. The x value was this, 5.175 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And now the OH minus concentration is 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second plus 2x. So when I do the math, I just have to plug in this x value in for here. So if I just plug, you know, if I just say that this would be plugged in 5.175 times 10 to the negative fourth. So let's figure it out. 5.0119 times 10 to the negative second plus two times 5.175 times 10 to the negative fourth. And yeah, I mean, it, it only moves it so, so, so slightly. Maybe I'll do that in black. So I get 0.5 five one one five and if i just translate that into um oh actually 0 0.05 if i just translate that into scientific notation it would be 5.115 times 10 to the negative second and that's molarity and these are your two concentrations okay Whew. So yeah, I mean, according to the math, we were able to get rid of the plus 2x because of the 5% rule. I mean, we double checked it, so that's good for me. I really hope this question helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. Thank you so much for that. You guys rock. And good luck on your tests and quizzes, all right? I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.